This is the fourth video on the binomial expansion where we're going to have a look at doing further expansions. We're just going to do one example, which is this one here. So it says to expand 4 plus 3x to the power of half over 1 minus 2x to the power of 4 up to the x squared term and we need to state the validity. So the first job <coughs> is we need to rewrite this as a product of two binomials with them both being on the numerator. So basically I need to take this and put it to the top. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 plus 3x to the power of half multiplied by 1 minus 2x to the power of minus 4. So I've just taken this, moved it up to the top with a minus 4 power. We are now going to expand both of these separately and then put the results together afterwards. So first of all, let's expand the uh, 4 plus 3x to the power of half. Now, in order to expand this, first thing I need to do, that needs to be 1, so I need to factorise the 4 outside. So to factorise the 4, remembering that you need to have that 4 to the power of 1 half. You can't just take the 4 outside, it has to be to the power. And on the inside I will have 1 plus 3 quarters x. All to the power of 1 half. Obviously, 4 to the power of 1 half is 2. So I will have two lots of, and now I can use the binomial expansion on this. So I will have 1 plus n x. So there's my n, there's my x, plus n multiplied by n minus 1. One, uh, one half take away one is minus one half. So n multiplied by n minus one divided by two factorial multiplied by three quarters x all squared. And that will take me, I only need to go up to the x squared term. Okay, right, let's simplify that. So leave the two at the front of them now. Let's sort out everything in the brackets. So half of three quarters is the same thing as three over eight. Right, so over here we've got minus, uh, the, the, the overall coefficient is going to be minus, because the plus times a minus there. Uh, one half times minus one half, so that's going to be a minus one quarter divided by 2, so that's minus 1 eighth, all of that. And then over here we're going to have 9 over 16x squared. Because the 3 over 4 squared would be the 9 over 16, and then we have the x squared there as well. Um, the 1 eighth times 9 over 16, let's just Let's just do that very quickly and simplify that. Uh, so 1 8 times 9 over 16 is 9 over 128. So this is 9 over 128. And then finally, let's multiply everything by 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times the 3 over 8 is 3 quarters x. 2 times the 9 over 128 is going to be 9 over 64x squared. Okay, so that is my first binomial expanded. I've expanded this up to the x squared term. We now need to expand this. So exactly the same thing, 1 minus 2x to the power minus 4. Notice that um, I don't need to do any factorisation here, so I can get straight into actually expanding this out. So, n, uh, sorry, 1, uh, plus n, which is minus 4, multiplied by 1 minus 2, 
multiplied by x, which is minus 2x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared. So simplifying this, I've got 1 plus 8x. Uh, again, this is going to be another plus, because the minus 4 times the minus 5 will be plus 20, divided by 2 will be 10. And then the minus 2x all squared is going to be plus 4x squared. And then the 10 times the 4 will be 40. Okay, so there is my second expansion. All I need to do now is multiply both of my expansions together and simplify. So let's rewrite both of these uh, down below. So 2 plus 3 quarters x. Plus, what was it? Uh, then minus 9 over 64x squared. So there's the first bracket. Here's the second bracket. And they both have a plus dot 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 there. Right, okay. Um, so we just need to multiply this up, up to the x squared term, so I don't need to include anything that's going to have a, um, a cubic or a quartic power. So first of all, 2 times the 1 is 2, 2 times the 8x is 16x, 2 times the 40x squared is 80x squared. 3 over 4x times 1 is 3 over 4x, 3 over 4x times 8 x is going to be uh, 6x squared. And I don't need to do the 3 over 4x times 40x squared because that would give me an, a cubic term, which I don't want. And then finally, the only other one I need to do actually is the 9 over 64x squared multiplied by 1, which is 9 over 64x squared. All of the other terms would be higher powers than um, than the squared, so I'm not going to worry about those. And now let's just connect out the like terms. So I've got 2. I have got um, 16x plus um, 3 over 4x, which I think is 67 over 4. Put those two together. Then we've got um, 80x plus 8, so 80x squared plus 6x squared minus 9864x squared. Um, so let me just do that on the calculator. And we get expansion. And I've got one other thing that I need to do. I need to determine for what values of x this is valid. So let's go back to the original expansions up here. The expansion for the first binomial is going to be valid uh, when ooh, I shouldn't have looked that off. Okay, so this was, the, this was what I used the expansion for. Um, this is what I used for the expansion. And this term here, the 3 over 4x, the modulus of that has to be less than 1. Now I can write that up. Which means that 3x has got to be less than 4. So x has got to be less than 4 over 3. That's for this um, expansion here. For this expansion over here, it's just this uh, 2x here. 
So the modulus of the minus 2x has got to be less than 1. So the, mo uh, the modulus of 2x has got to be less than 1. So the modulus of x has got to be less than 1 half. So we've got two um, conditions here. In order for this expansion to be correct, to be valid, x has got to be less than 4 over 3. But in order for this expansion to be valid, x has got to be less than 1 half. Now, I have used both of these expansions in my final answer down here. So in order for this to be valid, both of these expansions need to be valid. So what that means is I am going to have to pick the narrower interval, the smaller interval, the more restrictive uh, into, uh, values of x as um, the values for x to be, uh, for my expansion to be valid. Just to give an example here, if for example x was 0.1, 0.1 is less than 1 half, and is less than 4 over 3, so that's fine. My expansion is valid for 0.1. If, however, I selected, uh, let's say, 0.8 or uh, 4 over 5, well, that works here. 0.8 is less than 4 over 3, so this part of the expansion is valid. But 0.8 is not less than 1 half, so this part of the expansion would not be valid. Therefore, the whole thing wouldn't be valid. So, what you do is you write out both of them, like we usually do, and then you always pick basically the one that has the smaller number there, because that is more restrictive, and that applies to both of the expansions. Okay.